In a time where gaming is filled with social media drama, scandals, and cheating, four elite Doom players flip the script and dominate in another fresh way. Who are they? What records have they set? And what's the secret behind their success? The first pro is none other than Zero Master. He's had many videos chronicling his accomplishments, and I have one myself, and he's widely regarded as the greatest Doom player of all time. Yet nobody has heard his voice. How can he stand out in 2022, 23, and beyond when he doesn't stream, use a camera, or microphone? Zero Master thinks of and accomplishes feats that nobody else even tries. They don't know to try it. He's the first ever clears of certain maps with challenges nobody would dream of attempting, like Doom 2 Map 2 without harming an enemy, and finding a secret in 2018 that remained hidden for 24 years since Doom 2's release in 1994. He can adapt to anything and even play at a high level blind. That means whenever you haven't played something before and you're jumping in fresh. This means that even without knowing what's coming next or having put much time into the game at its release, he can still dominate at a level that it takes players months or years to reach, if they even match him at all. In fact, he beat Doom 2016's multi-hour long permadeath ultra nightmare hardest difficulty within like a day of the game's release. How do you go from a brand new game with new mechanics, mastering and understanding without using all of the new updated meta and tech that people use now, and go through the game once or twice, if that, and do it without dying on the hardest difficulty, taking all of this in? It's unbelievable. He's even received accolades from Doom and its software co-creator, John Romero. Really, Zero Master? Wow. There's no way. Okay. All right. This is this is for Zero Master. Well, <laughs> congratulations for completely demolishing my game. He spent years at the top, both with real-time speedruns and tool-assisted, to truly understand the game, its engine, and how it operates. You have to have that insane, innate knowledge to not just play the game well, but understand why and how you do what you do to make these moves and think of these awesome ideas. Things that will absolutely freaking lootly blow the mind of every single or taken human being and animal on this earth and Mars, alive or dead. Does it sound like I'm exaggerating? Well, I'm not. Go watch Zero Master, then come back to me. You'll see what I mean. So as we move on to the next player that a lot of people have asked me about covering, a real quick favor of you, on my last video, a lot of people subscribed that likely thought they were, but they actually weren't. So if you don't care, just check real quick for me and consider subscribing if you aren't. If you like this video, I'm gonna be making a bunch more like it. Thanks for checking for me. Next up, a pioneer for controller players and no damage, no hit runs, SMVR. What makes SMVR truly stand out is his adaptability. It's not just Doom, but God of War, Elden Ring, wherever. His accomplishments go to whatever game he plays. How would it be possible for him to break new ground and push the limits with controller players and how they approach the game, all without saying a word? SMVR's proficiency and setup on his controller influences players as he pushes the limits not just on what's possible with the controller, but how you approach your controls as well. He was the first and likely only well-known Doom player to use Joyshock Mapper. In his words of the debut video, he said that he was, quote, trying out new control schemes that changed the function of the weapon wheel to designated button assignments. Joyshock Mapper converts inputs from the controller to mouse and keyboard inputs." End quote. Naturally, he doesn't need Joyshock Mapper to succeed. This is merely another tool in his diverse toolbox to help push the game to new levels. Something like this requires knowledge in order to set up and operate, especially with success. And the fact that he can develop a control scheme for himself with this tool, use it proficiently, and dominate general controller play to a level that many may never reach? That says a lot. He takes these skills onto his no damage boss and segmented level runs to be able to understand a game, the enemy AI, movement and play, while never receiving a hit is amazing. Many times controller players are picked on for not using a mouse and keyboard, but SMVR revolutionized the Doom controller scene, inspiring many players and showing them what truly is possible. That's what really sets an elite player apart. They're not only masters of their game and craft, but trailblazers that set the stage for those to come after. 
Next up is Four Shock Blast. He's a multiple world record holder, including the speedrun record for Doom's first level. He has a time of 8 seconds, beating the 9 second record of Thomas Pilger set on September 28, 1998. That one stood for 22 years. He submitted thousands of speedruns and records, 2,634 records to be exact, of his 2,974 submissions, and he has 83 TAS or tool assisted run submissions, which show that he not only has mastered the natural runs, but also programming inputs frame by frame into a tool for as close as we can get to a machine perfect speedrun. He's performed at ESA 2018, which is the European Speedrun Assembly, but he doesn't use a microphone or camera for his YouTube channel. What makes him so great? For Shock Blast's ability to see, calculate, and develop strategies is more extreme than you might realize. For many of his records, yes, he may be the only competitor. However, to achieve a notable speedrun time on a level that hasn't been broken down yet, that shows that he is able to analyze and act on new grounds, places other players haven't tread before. Just like Zero Master and SMVR revolutionize play in their own respective ways, For Shock Blast also takes elite play, perseverance, and knowledge to the next level with his variety of records spanning across these thousands of maps and attempts. His 8 second run, more precisely 8.97 seconds, took over 50,000 attempts. Now, many of the attempts were reset at the very beginning, but even if an attempt was 3 or 4 seconds, that's still over 100 something hours of grinding attempts, not counting studying how to beat a record that stood for over two decades, a feat that many people likely thought was impossible. But for Shock Blast never gave up or let us down and showed that you should never say never when it comes to gaming and speedrunning. So in his own way, Shock mastered the art of learning what hasn't been attempted before. But Depravity, our next elite player, has some jaw-dropping achievements. He too has achieved an 8 second run on Doom's first map, but his focus and mastery takes him beyond Shock's first record. Only a handful of people have ever seen 8 seconds, if that, but Depravity has attempted various categories and challenges for the map, such as Pacifist, which means no harming the enemies. I want you to think just for a second about how prestigious and amazing an 8 second run is. The amount of tactics and pressure, perseverance and grit required to achieve it. Sometimes without harming the enemies or taking any damage yourself. It is the near impossible feat to even do once in your lifetime. Depravity has done it 30 times. 21 times at 8.97 seconds, 6 times at 8.94, and twice at 8.91. In total, that's 29 eighths, 30 if you count his pacifist, no damage enemies, reality, no damage taken, 8.97. Not only does Depravity hold this insane accomplishment, he is a champion at the Unity source port of the game through Steam, and also won a contest by YouTuber Carl Jops, establishing a new world record for all kills and secrets on this map with 26 seconds. Not to mention Carl was asking for people to reach 35 seconds or less. Those 9 seconds are huge. The scale, the magnitude, the rarity. Things that most humans will never see are commonplace feats for our truly elite players. So if we were to look at the big picture, how do Doom's silent pros continue to dominate the game some nearly three decades past its release? They have years of dedicated, hard-working experience. They keep their head down and focus on their goal and finish line, then use that finish line as the start of the next race. They know what they want and push after that goal. They don't get involved in social media drama, they let their playing do the talking. The YouTube algorithm may push them because what they make is attractive and unique to many, released often at a fresh new time when others haven't done this yet. And it's valuable and interesting, and we show that we want to watch it. So the next time you see someone dominate without a word, think about these Doom pros. They show that your performance, tact, and drive matters, and that the legacy that they leave will forever impact the game's history. And if you like this video, check out my Zero Master full analysis video here. I'm Austin, thanks for watching, and thank you to the channel members who make this possible.